cheeky parrot Bud is Sue's best friend. But Bud's neighbours are in a flap and council wants him gone. Sue's digging her claws in. Bud means the world to me. I would never get rid of him. Not even if I was forced to get rid of him. Bud knows how to welcome visitors. Good morning to you too, Bud. <laughs> And he's been Sue Mariner's best mate for three years. Bud's just loud and awesome. And I just love him. He's my companion bird. Bud, the Alexandrine parakeet, and Sue moved to Bribey Island from Sydney last year. Bud riding shotgun the whole way. Wherever I go, he comes with me. You know? goes to the toilet with me, goes to the bathroom with me, goes to the shops with me. But it's Bud's morning routine that's now got him and Sue in hot water with the local council. Basically his routine was me between 9, 9.30, taking him out in with his cage and taking him out to the backyard, just for fresh air. But you see, with that fresh air in his lungs, Bud became quite vocal. Just don't yes, he'd make a noise, but he was talking to all the other birds. We have a lot of lorikeets, pigeons, there's crows even coming and sitting in the trees. And they would talk to each other. But because they were so loud, I think the neighbours got jack of it. A complaint to the council saw a ranger show up on Sue's doorstep about her boisterous feathered friend. So I went and got him, took him out. He goes, that's too big, you can't have it. Turns out Bud's too big for the block and Sue was given just 14 days to get rid of him. Did you know about these rules? No. What was your reaction? I was shocked. I was horrified. And if she doesn't... What's the fine? $2,875. It is ridiculous. According to Moreton Bay Regional Council's rules, Bud is classed in the same category as a large parrot, along with cockatoos and galahs, and isn't allowed to be kept on a property smaller than 1,000 square metres. I went and had a look on um, Morton Bay's um, rules and regulations. You can have 40 pigeons in your backyard or three chickens. But you can't have one <laughs> bud. But I can't have one bud. Yeah. Now Bud's facing the boot and Sue's distraught. She posted about it on the local community Facebook page and was inundated with comments. What a load of crap. Tell them that it is a companion bird. Removing your companion bird will induce extreme distress. Since he is smaller than a chicken, tell council he identifies as a chicken. If I have to rehome him, I'll just get 40 pigeons and three chickens. Can you, can you imagine the noise that 40 pigeons would make? Sue's now changed Bud's routine and is keeping him inside at all times. She's hoping the council can show some heart and re-evaluate the rules on Bud's size. What would life be like without Bud? Oh, don't want to go there. Don't, I can't answer that question. We come as a couple. <laughs> so he's my man. He's been my man for nearly three years. And that's the way I want it to stay. Oh, poor old Bud. Well, this might make you fall off your perch. Council won't budge. And Bud's got just three months and he's out.